What's up guys, this is Josh from Bike Paranormal. Just doing a little video. Um, started a social media website. It's mightparanormal.spruz.com. I encourage you to check it out. The link will be in the description below. If you want to jump on it right now, it's a free service. It's, um, it's actually pretty good. And it, um, you can only hold right now, I believe, 50 members. But for like a paid subscription, I think it like jumps up well into the hundreds. And the higher package you go, the more, and I think eventually where you can get unlimited, and I don't think the price to get unlimited memberships for it is really all that much. So if we get enough members and people who are willing to, you know, donate a couple of dollars, a dollar, fifty cents to the site, eventually I could use that money to start unlocking all the, um, all the, uh, features on it. I was part of a social media paranormal site called I Am Haunted. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what happened, but it was a fun site while it lasted. Now, usually your bigger and semi-big channels and the people who want to make YouTube full-time start Patreons. I'm not starting a Patreon to try to become a full-time YouTuber. I want to start Patreon because I I have an idea of something bigger. Some people get behind the scenes or special access to stuff. I have an idea for a nationwide paranormal based group. I wonder if the paranormal community as a whole is actually losing its popularity. Now I know throughout history we've had several uh, pop-ups of the spiritualist movement would get popular, then it would go away, then it would get popular and go away. And it, you would usually pick up its popularity with uh, usually somebody being able to claim, oh you know I can talk to spirits and then they have some outrageous claim of their ability for a while until they were proven to be frauds or they fooled people their whole life and you know and I think this day and age I think we had a uh, group of people who put out pretty decent paranormal based reality shows and I think that's what made spiritualism popular again I think in the early 2000s, there was a whole fresh rash of uh, paranormal reality shows, and I, I think really Ghost Hunters, Ghost Hunters kind of pushed me into it. I was interested in it already, I had a lifetime of paranormal events, and I, I, I wanted to be able to investigate the paranormal, I just didn't know how. Um, and I think Ghost Hunters in its early days was a realistic enough show that shows you how to do it before I think they kind of sold out and I think they started faking stuff near the probably about the third or fourth season is whenever I really stopped watching it because I think they become full of shit relatively low cost of paranormal um, re research equipment video cameras um, in the wide range of access to it I think uh, um, was able to create a whole new batch of your uh, psychic investigators and your paranormal researchers and your ghost hunters and your ghost enthusiasts and 
haunted explorers and people like that. And I just kind of lost a little bit of respect for them. And I think overall the show definitely lost popularity because it's obviously not on anymore. I believe that that uh, definitely is on its way down. And you're going to find out who you're, the people who you really know are your diehard investigators. Now I'm not saying people ain't going to be interested in it their whole lives, but I just don't think overall... Um, people who were in it five and ten years ago, I don't think they're going to be in it anymore. And it's one of those fad things, you know, you're, you get interested in it, you see a couple of things, or maybe your friends are dating somebody who was into the paranormal, you know, you go on a couple of ghost hunts with them, or maybe something actually happens to you that you wasn't expecting during the investigation, scares the living shit out of you, and you get the hell out of it. I hope that never happens. Like, I, I'm, I've had the hell scared out of me before, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I don't think anything will ever happen to, you know, chase me out of it unless, like, something, like, you know, unless something life-threatening were to happen, I don't think I'll ever get out of the field. I don't really do anything anymore, but that's beside the point. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching my very shaky <laughs> vlog today. I'm, I'm using my camera or my my um, my phone, and I'm moving around a lot. And yes, I'm doing that intentionally. I'm sorry if that makes you ill. It makes me sick. Of course, I got vertigo a little bit and. I'm watching Netflix and scrolling through and I'm trying to keep it and it just, well that made me dizzy too. Camera mounts that I can just kind of keep it you know and I'm also changing hands every now and again and I, I'm now kind of doing that intentionally but I still apologize. I'm, I really want to hit up a couple of graveyards not necessarily to investigate them but just kind of really to show them off but um that really is, I think, all for this video. So this is Josh from Mike Paranormal, and I will see you in the next video.